What are you doing? Oh my god, that scared me. Let's see what we're gonna get today. Hmm, not the best map pool, to be honest. My team's all voting Skyscraper, so I don't really have a choice. That's one of the worst things about solo queue, not even like your teammates or anything, but you never get to say what you want really for the map unless nobody votes. At the end of the day, they'll always overnumber you, but we actually got bank, nice. I was worried we'd get Emerald Plains there. Not too bad, they'll take some bank. Bank and border are two of my favorite maps. Bank is a little rough on solo queue, not gonna lie, but sometimes it's good, we'll see how it goes. It is still a fun one to play, usually. Unless your team just sucks on it, which, I mean, happens quite a lot. Nobody knows how to play bank for some reason. We did get defense first. I already know they're going to vote to go upstairs. But I hope they can prove me wrong, because nobody does. You can make a case for second floor being the second best, but I think it's only third. And basement's definitely better for ranked. Usually in ranked, all you need to do is have a good uh, default kind of set up on the basement and bunker up and you're good. Maybe hit like a late room or something and just have info on everything. If it's info on the front side, have some info on garage. Somebody already voted it. I tried. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, looks like we're actually getting a basement. Let's go. You guys already know I'm bringing the echo out. I'm going to take impact because usually nobody knows how to make the correct rotates. I like a vaultable one on the left side of the wall, but if somebody does make it, it's fine. I can save the impacts for later on. It is good to have some impact spare in case you need to open a hatch later on, just open a wall to get out of somewhere. Or if there's like an OSA or something, you know. Or you can just throw them at people. I see people do that all the time, but I never really do myself. Usually I have to use them on setups and so like you. They are kind of unrated for throwing up people, though. They do 50. Or more, or less, depending on the armor, I guess. But right now I'm getting the front hatches. Nobody usually gets these. I'll let my team get the main two hatches for the site. It's good to always get all four, though. Preferably, you'd open up CCTV hatch, too. Like the one above the, the server room. I'm going to open these, too, to put some more pressure on them. It's good to open these. Open as much hatches and stuff as you can. Just to add pressure to them. Some weird barbed wire at the top. Okay, I'm gonna check these. People always like pushing garage early, so I'll keep that there. Keep one in sight. How are they gonna push garage this time? If they do, I'm gonna make their day hell. I always do with that yokai cam. See, nobody made a rotate here. Crazy. I should have saved one of them, I guess. I'm just gonna improvise and make head holes on it. Could be worse. At least now I can shoot through if I need to. And there's one. Ash. I'm yellow pinging. I don't know if they're going through. I think they are. It's not for me. Hit her with a stun. Scare the shit out of her. I know that scared her. Dokubi's actually a really good counter to Echo. I think she spotted it. This is why yokais are so good for garage. You can just hide behind these little tires and they can't really shoot it very well. And they have to worry about getting swung too. Considering the info's on them. So it's really hard to play against. I always stop people with this. Unless the doe could be called. Gets me off my cam. Come on. Saved. Alright, in time. I am giving this ash the worst day possible. I feel kind of bad. I'm surprised she's not rotating away and she's still trying to push this. She's all alone too. She has no help. The bond is going for hatches. I have to worry about that soon. Aw, oh, she's seen it. So when she wasn't looking up. And she's dead anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's funny. Minute 45 just to do that. Worth that one yokai drone, huh, Ash? So drone is sight, let me just take care of that. What? 
think it's just in sight as well. Just crouch walking through. Where is my team? They're all holding the backside. Okay. Nice. Man. If they can win, it's fine. She's seen it eventually. That's why I stopped red pinging, so she, hopefully she didn't see it. Oh, there's a blitz. Okay. Oh, the warden counter. Oh, nice shot, Alibi. Nice shot. 2v1, they know where he is. Oh, make holes to that. There you go. Got to make him a little higher, though. The diffuser's too far away. If he just went to the right a little bit and made him higher, he could reach. No, they're not making him high enough. Oh, what a shot by Warden. Let's go. I think he got it. Yep. Wow, my team's insane. I didn't mention it at the start, but I am in a... Diamond and Champ Lobby, of course. If that wasn't evident enough right there. I don't know if these guys on my team are cheating with mouse or not, but hey. I'll take it where I can get it, because the usually they're against me. In force. I'm not saying they are, though. It might just be insane. Probably not, but I'll take it, like I said. I like going Frost for this upstairs site. Can double mat these windows up at least and try to hold in the hallway. That's unfortunate. I stopped it right at the last second. Easily a top five most annoying thing in Siege. You get through your gadget or your reinforcement and you barely stop too soon. I do not want to put a deployable shield right here. I want to put the frost mat. That still sometimes to this day confuses me because I use B for my gadget button. I know that's strange, but I use RB to crouch on my controller. Does anybody else do that that's watching this video? If you do, tell me in the comments, because I would love to know that. I've never met somebody else that does. That would be a first. Almost destroyed my map, but it's okay. Only damaged it a little bit. There's a shield pushing my hallway. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, where is my team? Everybody's downstairs, all four players. Are you kidding me? There were three people in open area together, like what? I understand we have a Pulse and a Valkyrie, but... At maximum, there should be two people downstairs for that. But even th even then, like there should be one guy downstairs at the start of the round. Maybe rotate late. Like Valkyrie should be upstairs to start with for sure. Okay, they won the round, so I don't care. The other team just sucks, I guess. I have no idea what just happened right there. Hey, we won the round. That's all that matters. I am not doing much, but it's fine. Should I go to the castle here? On the open area, castle's good here. I used to go Oryx a lot on this site when he had the 1.5. I loved Oryx for bank until he took that away. Maybe I should try him with the hollow someday. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right attachments on my castle. Protect the bombs. In this account. I do have a legendary skin, though. Kind of just like basement, open up all the hatches below so you can rotate out. You gotta try to play the basement wars on this one. Just keep hitting the rotates on them. Hit the jukes. I'm just gonna reinforce soft triple here. Oh. 
Okay, nice. My team reinforced off quad, too. You want to make holes on the jump in like that for level. Does my teammate want back in? Yep. Also, I think I'm going to reinforce this wall here. That way they can't get a long angle on the site. As they take control of electrical box. Make holes there so they can't walk in farther. For that. Now we can castle it up, I guess. I don't think anybody else wants back in immediately. We have a good setup on this one, too. I like the dock choice. I like the maestro. It's one twitch thrown down. Oh, there's already a warden on blue. I was going to flank that. And try to hit the main flank, I guess. Also, I used. I only used one castle. I didn't use one on the window on the site. I totally forgot. I was too worried about setting the rest up. This is barricaded, so I guess that works. Let me check main. Maybe I can try to barricade the long haul here. Okay, I'm going for it. So I can play in elevators at least. This is a power spot. Open this up in case I need to drop. One is on the stairs, chasing an alibi, I think. He was holding a nerd angle on that. I almost hit him too. Got very close to his head. Those scared alibis would have shoot me there. What a good doc. Chase me downstairs just to give me that. Big wins from the team. Last one's out here. Let's see if he can bait it. I'm a very bad teammate for that. I just baited that doc so hard for that. I didn't want to stack on him though and get like double killed or team kill him on accident or whatever or get team killed by him. So I was just playing it safe and let him peek it. And then I can get the info after. If I knew Twitch wasn't going to be looking at it still. Expecting two to push up blue. Like who does that? We do though because Doc wanted to go down there to give me the stim. Just for me to let him die. Unfortunate. Another nice round though. That's a great half 3 0 on bank. We'll take that. See if we can finish them off on attack. They're probably going to go basement like we did, but knowing how people do it on this map, maybe they'll go upstairs for some reason. The GG squad that we're playing. This hasn't been a very eventful game. Maybe if this is a 4 0, I'll add in another one after this. I am playing on my champ account, so could be why. My rank's not champ yet, but champ lobbies, because this is the one I got diamond in last season. And in rank 2.0, they throw you in champ lobbies all the time. And you get too high and you're hidden. Actually insane. There's been so many MK lobbies on the other team, like the MK stacks against me, I should say. But I'm grinding through it for you guys, trying to get some good games out of it at least. Every game's not like that. So it's worth it. Try not to team kill again. We keep on stacking on each other a lot. Like the open area around where they were all downstairs on the. Upstairs side, that, that was insane to look at. Can get a long angle here. The team's taking lobby, I like that. Break that so I can actually see. 
This is why I opened up this wall. Usually I'd go a hard breach, but they didn't reinforce this, so... Can hold the entire cross in the hallway. It's very powerful to get this angle. Especially when your team's actually pushing correctly. Oh, there is one. And there he goes. I'd really recommend trying that angle in your games. Especially if you're with a stack. You can coordinate off it. It's very good. I know where Jaeger is. I don't know where Legion's at. And drone for my team. The Jaeger's dead, okay. I'm just gonna go push. It's 4v1, I don't wanna wait. They surrendered, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to get another game in here. And as long as it doesn't go to like OT or something, then we should be good. Because that was a little too easy, a 3-0 win. Nice little quick match, literally. <laughs> nice. Both teams banned bank this time, so that was good. We didn't get the repeat. Last time I did a doubleheader, we got banked twice in a row, so I was hoping that wouldn't happen again, and it did not. We got Coastline. Should be a fun one, hopefully. And I'm just hoping this doesn't go to overtime. In that case, that bank match might be like three minutes long. Or it might just not show it. We'll see. We'll see. Need that luck on our side here. Also, we did ban Osa. I wasn't even paying attention on the ban, so that's fine, I guess. She's a little bit annoying to deal with. Like, you know when you have that perfect angle lined up and then an Osa just peeks right in front of you? Another top five worst feeling in Siege. So bad. We banned Mir. Okay, they banned Fenrir, though? Interesting. I guess he is very powerful, though. I don't really play him on this map, so I wouldn't have cared either way. Fine with me. Now, who do I want to play? That's the question here. I think I'm going to go with Lamai. He's a good pick always. Salty Squeaker 20. Is Salty Squeaker 20 going to carry us? Yes or no? Vote in the comments down below. We'll have to see. Yeah, I have faith. Okay, I'm going to reinforce the long angle here on VIP. Always good to get these if you're not going to get the outside ones in VIP. At least get these. I always have to break all these little glasses here. The fruits are unbreakable, but that's fine. Now I don't have to worry about that being my way when I peek the balcony. All you have to worry about here in this spot is getting grenade from below since I put the well, my disc up in the vent. Might be good here. Nobody's even spawned the side. Camera's still up. Put another one just in case there's two nades. There goes Salty Squeaker. I like our defense here. We're kind of everywhere, which is good. I guess I can just chill on cams this whole time. Only one minute in, they're all dead. There's one, because they can't shoot the default. Come on, peek him, Salty. Salty Squeaker, come on. There you go, let's go. He's the best. Uh, I don't know where the last one's at. He's dead, okay. Fun round, fun round. On those kind of rounds, guys, if you see they're not pushing you at all, just try to get on cams and help your team. 
And if they push their light, you can still cover it. But you are very useful on your cameras that way. I was able to give those red pings to Salty Squeaker out there on the balcony, and that pretty much sealed the round. Instead of just running around looking for somebody on the other side of the map, you're much better off in cameras at that point. And getting on cameras guaranteed the fact that they weren't pushing my side at all. It is good to break all these little things here because then drones can't hide there. This time they spawn here. I'm out. Gotta reload. I'm trying to get out of there and get upstairs. I've seen that drone behind me, but... Okay. I was making sure everything was clear, too. I knew nobody was on it. I'm watching if anybody that's doing vert plays is going to try to rotate over here. It's a good way to get a free kill. I think somebody already died up here. I've seen blood. I don't know what they're taking. Their takes have been weird so far. At least from what I've seen. I think one's either main lobby or courtyard is the armory I heard. Going for the trade. Sledge is either outside main lobby or... Okay, there you go. He's in courtyard. I'm going to hold the safe angle here in case. I don't know if he has a rotate into blue bar or not. Just making sure my teammate's holding that. <laughs> he hit captains anyway. Nice. What was he? Oh, was he? Okay, he was outside the service door at the end. He must have rotated through the main door. Because he was wall banging through courtyard. I don't know what he was doing. He was shooting a lot of bullets there. Just randomly. And nothing. Oh, we're actually going blue bar. I'm down with that. It might be hard for them to attack because they're not used to it and their takes have been strange already. Where do I want to go? Maybe some Ella? Yeah, let's try Ella. I don't use her too much, so... It's a nice little change. The Ella mines and barbed wire should be good. A lot of traps. Hopefully the team just makes the site set up. They should. We have a castle. I don't like that Goyo because I prefer to reinforce that wall. Since there's a window there, you know. It's okay, I guess. I was going to try to play here with the LL a little bit more aggressively, but it's going to be a little tougher now since that's not reinforced. I don't know what I want to do. I can't reinforce. I think it's going to blow up on me if I do. Whatever, I'll leave it. Some barb here on the cross. Again, good to destroy these so the drones can't hide them. Especially since this is the site. Even more important now. 
I don't really know where I want to play. I don't know if this is going to be a good spot. And there's the Goyo already. Great Goyo, dude. Just amazing. They already wasted a grenade, though. Ugh, the prop keeps popping up for just a quick second, but I cannot get it. Whatever. They're probably just going to hold me from the window the entire round now. I'm out, gotta reload. So I'm stuck in this corner. I'm getting grenaded. I think that grenade just hit me. There's somebody with grenades is chilling on the window there. They threw two and I can hear him out there. Nobody's holding kitchen either. I don't like that. Goyo's is staring at nothing. More grenades. I try to get a weird spot. There goes the Goyo shocker. Team's not really playing this very well because I'm stuck in a weird spot. We have 3v4 now. I have the sight cover though, I guess. Sophia is killing everybody. He's still outside the window. I thought they all rotated over to the other side. I'm pretty sure this is the guy that threw two grenades right away. I told you he knew I was stuck in that corner. So by taking the other side, I was trapped. I should have just pre-fired that. I didn't think he was still there though. I wanted to get over there a little quicker. Seeing that Mozzie was upstairs. Okay. That's fine though, we got two coastline defenses. That's what we should get. I'd say this is an attacker favorite map if there's any in the ranked pool. It's this one. Especially when it's blue bar that you have to defend. Not easy, we should've went penthouse. I don't know why we went blue bar to be honest. Penthouse is actually pretty good now. And we have the Kate up for the wall. I'm just going to go on the Ash. I usually do that on this map. Twitch is also good. Anything with claymores, really. But what I like doing, I like going on the balcony and double claymoring the office door so they can't run out on me. Unless it's a Solus or something. And barricade's already broken and she can see where they are. It's still tough, though, either way. We need to locate a bomb. I get so many free kills on this balcony. It should be illegal. And I can have this camera so I can watch if they're going to run out on me. And it can help for spawn peaks. Oh, speaking of spawn peaks. Another spawn peak maybe here. Cap cans. We got to worry about that later if we go there. Yeah, this guy's spawn peaking this. See, the window is broken. He's doing like the echo strat, okay. Five seconds before insertion. So we have a drone on it that should be very easy to handle or teammates pinging it so they know. A bomb must be located and defused. The yokai is literally right up there. I'm going to ping it for him. So difficult on console. Sensitivity is so high. Got it, okay. What a waste of a yokai drone. Teammates are getting shredded though. 3 5, nice. I'll grab that, I guess. How'd that dude die so close to the window? Did his body just fall? Armor got picked back up, nice. 4v4, I'll take it. I'm doing this claymore here. That way, if they pull the door down, it's gonna kill him instantly. It'll just blow up right in their face. Very underrated Claymore. You have located a bomb. The other one just for safety in case they see it before. It's always somebody playing in the back of Aqua. I should just start taking grenades and just go below and grenade them, to be honest. Wow. 
What are you doing? Suddenly we have sight, 4v2. I'm gonna rejoin my team. Checking for cap cans. And cap can himself. Shot my teammate a little bit there, trying to kill him, but that's okay. He took it like a champ. Shot him through the wall too. There we go, got some kills again. This is kind of going like the bank match did, to be honest. Especially if we can clean this one up here. So they're probably going to go kitchen, I'd imagine, right? Seems like they would. Kind of got destroyed on that one after the first pick. Locate a bomb. So I'm doing the same drone right here, but instead of going on the rappel, I'm literally just going to take offices. Or office, not offices. But yeah, I'm just going to take this. It's a good power spot, a good attack, especially when you're solo queuing. And I can cut off the flank with the claymore. Ten and then just go from blue bar, and the site is pretty much right there. In solo queue, I keep it basic Five most of the time and just go pretty much directly to site. That's why I don't take vertical play much. A it's a pain doing located. vertical play on solo queue. Like buck or sledge, because it's so hard to watch the flank while you're doing it. Watch your spawn peaks. If you're going to go vertical play in solo queue, I'd recommend going like Nomad Breach Charges, honestly. Probably your best bet, but even then, you gotta clear out so much map first. So tough if they're roaming. And you don't know if your team's gonna go with you. Same claymores. Oh, wait, no, they're. I don't know what the site is, honestly. Did they go kitchen or. They went kitchen. Well, I'm gonna have to pick these claymores up. Somebody just died to a Zofia impact. Don't mind these. Totally did not realize the site there after talking about it in the prep phase. Got distracted, you know. Always angle your claymores too so the line's right on the door so it's harder for them to swing out and shoot it. Putting this one for the hatch if they impact it later. This should be clear. Buck was just in here. What that cap can is. Plenty of time to drone. Minute and a half. We have a man advantage still. Never mind. Hallway's clear right now. Might be able to walk in the site. So I just jumped in. Unfortunate. Oh, where did he come from? He was not here a second ago. That's unfortunate as well. One friendly operator remaining. Op four last operators. You got the sledge. Sledge is the one I shot too. The diffuser is now secure. Nice job. Let's go, salty squeaker. Wow, this guy went nine and two after the thing I was saying at the start. I'm the salty squeaker whisperer. What more can you say? He did end up carrying me. I still put in some work with the rest of the team too. Everybody did their part. Some more than others. That's okay. The other team was three stacked as well. It is tough being a solo player when you have like a three stack on each team. Like you have no comms with anybody. So you're at a big disadvantage right from the start of the game. But you should know that going into solo queue you're going to be. That's the mindset you just have to have. Just expect to lose and you won't be as disappointed when you do.